All right, we're back. Another unboxing. Uh, you've only seen one when I've recorded this. I'm going to release the short part four. Uh, it'll be in the next couple of days. And then today we got Tack Pack. So uh, right there. Got their nice little logo. And it's weird. They, they cover the top. The top has the biggest logo, but they cover it up. So, yeah. They, you can't see it. So I'm going to use the knife I got from that grab bag. Cuts it like nothing. Also, kids never use a knife to cut towards toward, towards you because that's that's wrong. I just made a shouldn't have done that, but okay. All right. So, I I think I've seen what this in this box. I honestly can't remember. It's 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 been a long week. So I know I I usually look at the videos to see what I might be getting, but. Um, I'm optimistic. I'm going to be enjoying what's in this box because I enjoy everything in these boxes. Um, Tack Pack's one of my favorite. They were a little delayed this month, but um, you can't hate on them for that because, I mean, they got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, now I remember what one of the things is. So we'll pull a couple of these things out, set them down. Small things on top. Take this box, set it over here. All right, we got our little card right there. Tack pack. You can pause it and read it if you want to. It's no big deal. I'm going to go over everything. Um, it's weird because they, they do it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. They do kind of mixed up on here. Um, they have an, I didn't even realize they have a hint in the bottom end. Okay. So, um, the first thing, it's a little thing. It is a, um, air freshener and it's called the Mac attack air freshener. It says the minty air freshener that smells like the eighties, cocaine, cheap motel rooms and knock off cologne. So it looks like a little Uzi or Mac 10, I guess you're going to say. So use that in my work truck, I guess. I like air fresheners in there. Uh, this one I do remember. I'm excited about this one. I've been wanting to try it. Um, so the next thing is it's a Black, Black Rifle Coffee, Coffee Company Steep Bag. So it comes in a little bag like this. Oh, and it says right here, it says add hot water, infuse for three plus minutes, brew to taste. So apparently it works just like tea, but it's for coffee. Um, I love, um, I haven't tried their coffee yet one of my friends has tried quite a bit of it i tried death wish love death wish um, but black rifle was one that i wanted to try and i'll just read from you on here it says steeps like tea tastes like freedom these medium roast coffee steep bags give you the easier way to enjoy black rifle coffee on the go whether you're out on business or heating nature's call pack a few of these and enjoy america's coffee from anywhere for best results pour over eight ounce to 12 ounce of hot not boiling water per steep bag and steep for five minutes. So, like the coffee bag, I'll probably try it tomorrow. I'm excited for it, as I'm excited from everything that came this week. And I, I saw, I do, I do remember what's in here now. Um, this is a different one. Man, every single bag, they do it really good. I don't know. Whoever packages this stuff, they do a very fantastic job. Um, the wife's not going to be, ooh, this is a soft shirt. So this is the t-shirt we have. And it says rifle things in the lettering of Stranger Things. So right there. Rifle things. And it actually looks like it is a Tack Pack shirt. So it was made by Tack Pack. So that's kind of cool. Seeing they have their own little production type thing. Um, I was wearing the Tack Pack shirt in the last video, I believe, in the short part. So you'll see me wearing it from the last box. Um, the shirts are really high quality. And I know some people I've seen complaining in the videos saying, you know, I don't like the shirts. The shirts that, you know, I can't wear, I can't use the shirt, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know. Um, all I know is that I like the shirts and I think they're a very, very high quality. And um, I'm hoping they send more with it, you know. Um, I do know the next, I mean, they've already flat out said it, that it, the one item is worth more than the entire box for next month. So everyone's assuming it's a part to a gun. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. And 
and we'll cut this open. So I'm not big on gunsmithing. I do like watching, you know, the guys on YouTube. So whoever's on there, out there doing it. Um, I like watching the guys that do that. Um, an old job I had, I had customers who actually would, you know, do reloading and whatnot. So this is a war machine. Got a nice little robot on it. So it's a pin and punch set. It says, without a doubt, this has been the most requested tool item from all of you. It took us a while to find the right kit, but here it is. Everything you need to smith your own guns from the from a punch perspective and other smithing needs. So let's open it up. So right there, you got your mallet. You got two punches right there. And then on this side, I can feel it's heavy. Wow. I mean, you got all the punches right there as well. So... full set of everything for you to do your gunsmithing um who knows maybe i'll get into it i mean from what i've heard they sent a lot of parts that need some additional work done to them so maybe i can get onto that um the last item there's a lot of stuff in here so there's the box crkt and it's another, actually this is pretty cool. So this one, it can be used look like as a lanyard, so you can wear it on your neck. Wow. That is a nice knife. I mean, I like the other one. I don't know. This one was 5'11". The 511 one was a little harder to pull in and out of the sheath, but this one feels real smooth. I mean, I would take this camping with us for sure, just because it's a nice, small little knife, um, and it fits perfect in your fingers. I watch a lot of Forge and Fire, and this is something that you would see, like, just the preciseness of how your fingers fit, because, you know, everyone's fingers are going to be different, but this one feels really, really good on my fingers. And it looks like it does have a clip for your belt. Is that a clip for your belt? Oh no, it's like a mole clip. I can't tell. Because it closes. So let's see what it says here. Doesn't say anything in there. Okay, so there you have that. But, I mean, if you look at it right there, got the nice little grooves. Has the paracord paracord holder on the end of it. Slides right into that. And let's see how long the lanyard is. I mean, I mean that's not bad. So I mean the only thing would be probably would wear it like that. It matters, but I mean, it comes out real easy. Whew. I know a lot of the guys do sharpness tests. I mean, maybe we'll do that now. I don't know. I uh, I came out too easy. Um, but this is, I mean, I, I want been wanting to start collecting knives. I mean, this is a good start, obviously. Uh, tack pack, you know, obviously, they're it's it's aimed at people with firearms, obviously, they have some knife stuff. As I gotten in a grab bag, the biggie grab bag. I mean, that's sharp. That's sharper than the 511 one. I can tell you that right now. Whew, that is sharp. So this is going to be a keeper, not a giveaway. Sorry. Um, from the tack pack, I am still giving away. If we do get any more subscribers, haven't gotten any yet, but um, once we reach 100 subscribers, still give them away the Gerber. And then 
obviously I'm going to decide if it's 500 or a thousand going to give away the target um, this is going to go with the other one over here because I'm going to make sure that stays out here but I mean all around it was a pretty decent box I'm surprised um, you know I'm sure this smithing kit isn't the cheapest it's probably not the most expensive either but um, you can't expect the most expensive things in every single box uh, I personally think that little things throwing in like this are pretty cool too you know hey I got an air freshener I got the coffee but this right here for those that do gunsmith and maybe I'll look into it maybe I'll sell it who knows I mean it's obviously a great item for those that gunsmith and then the knife too um, since I am building up a knife collection I really really like it and that is why sadly I canceled battle box was because they they only had you know they barely had any knives I mean it wasn't it wasn't anything that I was really uh, into, you know, the knives. I got one I use it daily now, my EDC uh, knife. But other than that, it was nothing great. So um, let me know if you anything else you want to see us unbox on the uh, pod on the wall on the sh the channel. Um, since we are, I am going to stream lab so I can start uh, streaming uh, Warzone, uh, Plunder, and uh, Fortnite, and some other games on Xbox. Uh, so look for those in the near future streaming wise on Twitch and on Facebook. Hopefully if I get that figured out, but, uh, for the most part, check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash FOMO cast and go to the group. So visit the group That's where most of the stuff gets shared. Uh, go to our Instagram, which is FOMO podcast. Go to our Twitter, which is FOMO underscore cast. And if you're watching us on YouTube, go to Twitch, search FOMO cast. If you're watching us on Twitch, Go to YouTube and search FOMOcast. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And um, for those uh, wanting to maybe help us out, we do have a Twitch website, I think it is, or it's a Streamlab website. If you go to FOMOcast.me, uh, we have a way you could donate to the podcast there too. So uh, let us know. Thank you again. Like I said, like and subscribe.